The other is just a new way of putting a stake in the ground. Hang in there. These aren't good, good stakes and anchors, but they do have their limitations. And like I said, flappy tarps, and they will come out eventually. Okay. Here's an idea that I have. All right. Now I've just got a dowel here. Uh, it was the easiest thing for me to grab a hold of. I was really kind of wanting to share these thoughts with people and get everybody's thoughts on uh, these anchors that I'm uh, trying to come up with. Okay. So we got us a, a wooden uh, stake. Now, the reason why I'm using this big old knife here is it was a gift from a friend of mine, Bob. And Bob don't care if I drive this knife in the ground or a rock or anything else. He's tested them tried and true and he said I can do what I want with it. So if I have to stick it in the ground, I don't think he's going to say a word. <laughs> okay. Okay, what I've done is I've just taken a, a small to uh, shoot, a, a, a dowel that I had and I've just cut it off and now it's just make believe this is just a wild stick out of the woods. Okay, this is how uh, my plan, I'd like your all's feedback. Cut a little notch on the end of your stick. Put whatever notch you want in there that's gonna hold. I just did a little square knot there, something for me to easy, easily untie. Now, right here is the, the catch to, to making this, uh, I'm gonna call it an earth anchor. We'll sharpen that stick up right there. You get this camera on down here a little bit. Okay, we're gonna drive it back in there, kind of at an angle just a little bit. Okay, then there. Make a little bit more. All right, let's twist that out. Now right there, that would still be a good anchor. That's about the, the length of this right here. But I've got another plan here. Now the catch to this, this is going to be to put a slit in the ground. Like that right there. Oh yeah, Bob's going to like this. And if you got a shovel, this will work just as well. So now what I've done is I've just cut a little channel in the ground there, and I'll show you why. <coughs> now we should be able to drive this stake down in the ground. Now the string is going to fall back here in this channel. So now there is absolutely no way that anchor is coming out of the ground. Not in this direction. Uh, it's, it's actually pulling the anchor toward all this soil here. So it would work really good in sand just as well. So I doubt any storm is going to pull that up whatsoever. And you could even drive a longer or a longer stake in the ground. But now to remove it, it's not going to be that hard. Pull the string out. Now the slit and the stake should just pop right up. All right, guys, it's just something I've been thinking about. Um, every time I go out and I tie my tarps and I've camped with many people in many storms and I've seen anchors fail. I've seen tarps fail and lines fail and knots fail. But one of the biggest things are the little small anchors that we use. Um, or that I've seen used out there that just uh, work their stuff out of the ground because of all the loose leaf litter or sandy soils. Driving this back in the ground at an angle allows this to pull up toward uh, all the dirt. So it's not pulling on the anchor itself, it's actually trying to lift. I think they call that the cone effect. And I'm going to show you one more time. 
okay, the easy way that I've seen is to go ahead and open up the hole with, you know, just another stick, what have you. Take your machete or shovel, push it down in the ground, cut you a slot, basically like on a 30 degree angle, just like any hammock or any ridge line's gonna, or tie out line's gonna hang, 30 or uh, 40 degree angle. You drive this down the ground, Make sure that rope falls back in that slot all the way back. So now, ain't no way you can pull that out. All right, I'm gonna get up. All right, guys, hope you can hear me. Well, I might as well put the test to <laughs> I can show you 250 pounds that it will or it won't hold, so let's put the test to it. And I've got the 250 pounds waiting on it. <laughs> okay, I want to tie this string right here. Oh, well, well, the paracord's stretching all out of whack. The knot's better watch out. If I fall on you, it's not gonna feel good. All right, let's do this again. I'm gonna give it everything I got and try to pull this out. Are you gonna help? Come on, get it. Help, get it. All right, guys. <coughs> All right, guys. It's just an idea I had. Um, I think it's a really good alternative for an anchor in loose soils or in leafy leafy soils. Uh, I'm still working on what I'm going to call a sacrificial anchor, one that you can retrieve your lines and hopefully hang a uh, bipod system for a hammock so that we can hang our hammocks anywhere uh, as long as we got an anchor to hold. Okay guys, this is going to be the first in a little series of anchors that I'm kind of coming up with. Uh, give me your feedback. That's one heck of an anchor. Give it a go. I bet you can't pull it out of the ground. Thanks guys.